Americans choose ABC News, America's number one news source. Hello to our fans online, I'm John Muller. And I'm Diana Perez with the top stories on this Friday, September 13th. In flood-stricken Colorado, a torrent of water is washing through the city of Boulder after an apparent dam break. The surge of water is carrying mud, rocks, debris, even cars. Thousands of people have been forced out of their homes. At least three people have died since the rain began five days ago. Firefighters worked through the night trying to contain the flames on the New Jersey shore. 20 buildings, most of them newly rebuilt after Hurricane Sandy, were all but destroyed as that inferno consumed everything in its path. After it went to 10 alarms, the fire department stopped even counting. Some eyewitnesses are, claim, are claiming that the boardwalk fire started there before spreading to an ice cream shop and some other businesses. A 13-year-old Texas boy is on life support after getting bitten by ants during a middle school football game. Cameron Espinoza started screaming in pain when the team huddled on the field in Corpus Christi. Turns out he had a severe allergic reaction to the fire ants and he lost consciousness twice before paramedics arrived. He remains in critical condition in the intensive care unit. All right, an airborne adventure is underway right now. It's a historic transatlantic flight using a cluster of balloons. The guy is making the flight is a professional balloonist. His name is Jonathan Trapp, and he's basically doing just like that Disney movie Up. He's using more than 300 helium-filled balloons for the voyage, which could take between three and six days. Trapp is riding in a lifeboat just in case he has to cut off over the ocean. He could land anywhere from northern Africa to Norway. And I that hope is such a whimsical journey. Good it luck. really is. And there's no jacket. idea. And there's, he has no idea where he's headed. It's not like he can use a right. GPS to navigate this thing, I'm assuming. I hope he's also wearing a life jacket yep, you better believe and a it. parachute. Yes. Because <laughs> if he comes tumbling down pretty quickly, that's not going to be fun. Not good. <laughs> I get more news anytime at ABCnews.com. I'm John Muller. And I'm Diana Perez. Thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. Britney Spears. And now, in four days on GNN, Britney reveals her electrifying new career move. What will it be? Britney's secret revealed. Live Tuesday, only on ABC's Good Morning America.